Turning to the weather now, most of us are just hot, but there are some lucky few, I guess, Annalise, around the Red River who might get some rain today. A little rain, yeah. I, if these temperatures, Karen, I don't think anyone would complain about some rain right now or clouds. But with those storms, there actually is just recently a severe thunderstorm watch issued, and it does include our Red River County. So we're mostly talking about just to the northeast of the Metroplex, Bonham to Paris, and farther off into East Texas, where that severe thunderstorm storm last until five o'clock this evening. Let's take a look right now. Not a lot of impact for us right now. Uh, most of it has been just barely brushing the Red River. So as we zoom in a little bit closer, heavy rain associated with this storm that's barely just pushed south. Uh, they're closer to Sherman. So expecting some heavy rain for you. It is all traveling pretty much due east. And so we'll keep an eye for places like Bonham here over the next half hour or so. But outflow from these storms could create some gusty winds even in the metroplex maybe up to 30 miles an hour so don't be surprised if you're out and about and you suddenly feel some of those gusty winds that is from the outflow out of this complex that at one time really was strong but we have seen this weakening most of the energy moving off there across southern oklahoma and i do expect that to be the trend here in the next couple of hours now this is associated with a boundary that's still sagging to the south that's going to happen through the rest of your afternoon and into this evening so so as that happens, we'll see those storm chances diminish for the evening. Clouds will break up a bit for some late afternoon sunshine. Our wind direction will change as well. So not seeing that southerly wind probably by this afternoon into this evening. And that'll keep temperatures in check. So that's all good news, right? We'll take a look at this. This stalled front is actually going to lift back to the north as we get into tomorrow. And that's going to be as a warm front. So here we go, kind of reestablishing that south wind and reestablishing the heat. So we will We'll be talking more about heat tomorrow than anything else. Through the day today so far, it's kind of just been this uh, cloudy setup that we've seen, those clouds from the north kind of filling in at times, and that's going to keep our temperatures in check. Right now sitting at 84 in Addison, same thing for Keller, uh, 86 degrees there around Burleson. Your feels like temperatures, of course, are a touch higher than that. Humidity remains really high. So we do have a couple of spots at least close to 90. Midlothian, you're actually there. But what I want to point out is where we're going from here. While today's not too bad, it's a different story as we head to the weekend. Look at that 101, the forecast high for Friday. 104, that feels like temperature. And so we're probably talking about a heat advisory either Friday or Saturday. As this heat is going to build, the ridge starts to build and kind of expand over the Lone Star State. So our storm chances go down, that heat is going up. And unfortunately, this is really our first true heat wave, several days of 100 plus as we carry on through the weekend. Karen? Thank you, Annalise. And